How's it going everybody? Today we are working on a respawn system. So player respawn is a thing I've been working on for a little while. I've always wanted to do what I have done for my previous games is just set the scene and when you die it just resets the entire scene. But what if you want a game that doesn't like you want to save kind of your progress as you're going even if you do die. Like enemies, if you have enemies that are coming at you, you defeat a few of them and then you end up dying in the middle of that fight. Uh, you don't want to just reset the entire scene and have to fight all those enemies again. So if you die, you're going to come back to this kind of center spot, this little purple square. So we walk up to our enemies here, our cubes. So if we collide with a red object in this scene, we will respawn in that purple scene, as you see now. So if I run into this stuff right here, and I'm back on this purple square. So I'm going to show you how to do this. What we're going to do is start a new scene. So we're going to go file and new restart scene. So in this scene, I already have my first person character saved as my startup. What you're going to want to do, uh, because for some reason there was an update to 2.7, you have to click the skip button right here. So do that for the character on your mouse to mouse input. So go into mouse, click on your little tick system right there. And that'll just make it so it doesn't stutter. For some reason, the new update did that. Shift S, set the cursor to center, and then put a plane on the ground. Now, we're gonna make this scene look a little bit more interesting, so we're gonna add a cube. We're gonna scale it up and just make a couple objects to look at so the camera and the area is not too flat. So we'll make this like a kind of turquoise color and duplicate this a couple times around the scene. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to click on our character and we're gonna hit this plus icon. Click on this and click on this. So as long as you don't have this bottom, the initial uh, selected, your character will not move. So if we go in here, press P, you'll see that I can only look up and down because the camera is the only thing that has logic. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a message. So, and the message will say respawn. So now that the message says respawn, we're going to add three constraint actuators. Now connect the respawn to each one of these using the same and, and now we're going to set the minimum to 0.5 and the maximum to one. So after we do that, we're going to set the limits. So the limits are going to be on the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. So now that we have this, we're going to spawn in the center. Now we need something to kind of ground us for now, and this will allow us to kind of see where our spawn point is. We're just going to add a cube. Okay, so now we're going to scale this, and we'll just put it down a little bit. Perfect. So now we have a little place to spawn. We're just gonna change the material to this to like a purple material, nice and contrasty to the rest of the environment. Okay, so now that we have our spawn point, we're going to add an enemy. So let's add a cube and make this cube red for an enemy. We're going to give this character a dynamic collision. Put this on cube. So we have the message respawn. So let's click on the character. We're gonna go back to, we're gonna click both initials. This will allow both logics to work and we will click this one. So you don't have to have the visible layers all the way visible all the time. You just have to click the one that you want. So when our player collides with, we'll just use the material for now, the material two, we will set the message to the same thing. Respawn. Then we just look at our other layer, make sure that our message is saying the same thing. Respawn lowercase. And we got respawn lowercase. So we'll just connect those two together, minimize that so we can see what we're doing. And now if we press play, and we're going to go into our camera view. If we press play, now we can play. We got this red cube looking at us, looking at us a little funny. And if we collide with the cube, we are back in our spawn. Let's actually make our field of view 25, not 35, 25. And now that's, that's a little better. So if we run around this cube, you can see our spawn point and we collide with the cube and we're back at the spawn. And that's how you do a simple spawn system in first person. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see my other content, it will be on both sides. You can see my gaming videos or you can see my tutorial videos. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.